Now Larry is the test puller. He has the option. He can keep that pass or he can drop and come back. Larry pulls out to 304.3 feet, 304.30. Going to keep the pull. So Larry Hollis gets us started here in the Pro Stock four-wheel drive division. Steve Big Block forward under the hood. Calls it holding strong. Danny Brockhouse, the hold the strong forward in the hunt here tonight. 16 trucks in this pro stock four-wheel drive division this evening. Danny pulls out to 294.91 feet, 294.91. This is Steve Johnson. I saw this truck go by. It got my attention. I don't think Steve's having hard times to have a beautiful pickup like this. Maybe after building it. Give a round of applause to Chevrolet going after the Fords. Two hundred ninety-four point oh five feet, two ninety-four point oh five for Hard Times Johnson. Larry Hollis, the footloose two truck, going for two wins in a row here this week as he stays out front at three. Number two truck in the points right now, Brett Stamps, Troublemaker Chevrolet. Oh, where's all my Chevrolet people at? Woo! He moved into the number two spot in the points last night in Gardner, Kansas. Moved up a spot. He's trying to go for the whole thing here tonight. He's got to beat 304.30. Chevrolet people, we got a new leader. 309.85 feet, Brent Stamps. Out of New Market, Iowa, the Troublemaker Chevrolet. You know what's funny is uh, Phil Kreiser, the driver of the Show Me Chevy, told me last night, he said, that's my little motor in there. Refers to that as the little motor. 
He said he'll turn it up, throttle that thing up. He said it'll go 8,500 RPM. Doesn't matter what the track is. If it's the tight track, if it's loose, and it just gets it to 8,500 RPM and stays there. He goes 298.14, puts him in the number three spot. Shorty's got his work cut out for him. Has to beat 309.85 to take the lead. Faithful. You can see that lead distance up there on the big screen from Brett Stramp Stamps out of New Market, Iowa, the troublemaker in the lead right now. Shorty Mitchell and Old Faithful goes 299.92 feet. 299.92 moves into the number three spot. You know what? Somebody told me. Somebody told me here a little bit ago. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names. Said they'd never seen the wave at a tractor pull before. Said it couldn't be done. Has to be 309.85. Jake Guthridge. Out of Holder, Missouri. The shock and all. Chevrolet. Had to be 309.85. Had to be 309.85. Jake Guthridge goes 309.62. Twenty-two hundredths of a foot, just under three inches. He was hauling the mail. I thought he had it. The old yeller Chevrolet got to beat 309.85. I tell you what, a pretty good run because that engine was not running 100%. When he came by us here at about 200 feet, he was not hitting clean on all eight cylinders. Two ninety four point nine, two ninety four point nine zero for Allen Box out of Seymour, Missouri. flag he will turn the rpm on the bipolar chevrolet
307.15 feet, 307.15. Moves him into the number three spot. That'll be his second worst finish of the season if he ends up in the third spot. Dave Walters, a tater wagon, make it a nice pass. Two hundred ninety-eight point five, two ninety-eight point five zero puts him in the number six spot right now. You know, a lot of people think driving one of these four. Ladies, help her out. Jordan Compton out of Creighton, Missouri. Ford Toff. Good pull for Jordan Cupton. The truck got to bouncing a little bit. That is the absolute enemy in this four-wheel drive class. If they develop a bounce, it's very hard to get it to stop doing that. And of course, every time, every rebound, those tires lose contact with the track and you lose traction. She goes 292.1, 292 and 10. Need a pull off on the track. Need a pull off vehicle on the track, please. You watch that replay, you can see the truck bouncing. Finally comes out of the bounce situation, but it's a little too late up here on the big end. Here we go. Ryan Hamilton, the Hang It Tough Chevrolet. The Hang and Tough Chevy out of Windsor, Missouri, taking a shot right there at the truck from Iowa. Going to come up short at 302.11 feet, 302.11. Good enough for the number five spot with just a handful of trucks to go, four pickups to go in the class. Number three spot at Outlaw Points. Where's all my Dodge fans at? Big block Mopar under the hood. Calls it the Power Wagon.
had to beat 309.85. Had to beat 309.85 feet. The only Dodge pickup in competition. Goes 310.48 feet for the lead. Winner set Iowa, Randy Johnson, the Grizzly. Nice hook for the Grizzly Chevrolet out of Iowa. Three hundred and one point one eight feet, three oh one point one eight. So the battle comes down to a Dodge Ford battle at this point. That was the last Chevrolet to hook to the sled. Watching that hook on air parts. Give a round of applause. Had a little hiccup early on in the pass. He got back in the throttle and got on down the track. Going to come up short. Uh, that 310.48 distance laid down by the power wagon. Watching that replay, Gary Letterman. Old Glory fly in there on the, out the. Marty Selman out of Garden City, Missouri. Rolls the slack out of the chain. Waits for the green flag. Ford people, this is it. This is what it's all about. He's got to beat 310.48 to win the class. Marty Selman in a rat trap. Good pull by Marty Selman, but is it good enough? Doesn't look to have the distance from where I'm standing. 297.21 feet. 297.21 puts him in 11th in his 16-truck field. We'll give you the final rundown here in just a moment. REI, Riverside Engine Incorporated, proven engine performance in pro stock, modified, super farm, stock, and super stock. Riverside Engine Incorporated. And give them a call at 419-927-6838. The Show Me Shootout coming up September 7th and 8th in Warrensburg, Missouri, Friday and Saturday night. Both nights start at 7 p.m. The biggest pull in Missouri at the Johnson County Fairgrounds in Warrensburg. Two tracks, two sleds, nine classes, and a beer garden to boot. Check it out at the showmeshootout.com.
First place in the Pro Stock four-wheel drive division gonna go to the Power Wagon of Matt Strange out of New Virginia, Iowa. In second, out of New Market, Iowa, Brett Stamps, the Troublemaker Chevrolet. The number three spot goes to Jake Guthridge out of Holden, Missouri, the Shock and All Chevy. The number four spot goes to Keith Hammonds with the Bipolar Chevrolet out of Green City, Missouri. The number five spot goes to Larry Hollis out of Thayer, Missouri with the Footloose Ford. Coming in sixth, Ryan Hamilton, the Hanging Tough Chevrolet of Windsor, Missouri. Seventh goes to Randy Johnson of Winterset, Iowa with the Grizzly. The number eight spot goes to Shorty Mitchell of Koshkodong, Missouri with Old Faithful. The number nine spot goes to Dave Walters with the Tater Wagon. And rounding out the top ten, in the number ten spot is Phil Chrysler out of Lincoln, Missouri with the Show Me Chevy.